Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center. For today's workout, we're gonna be focusing mostly on the development of our core and our leg. And all we're gonna really need is either two sticks or two training bolos. We're gonna be incorporating some pretty high intensity footwork drills and some double or doble stone or doble sword drills. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you've been training with me and getting these workouts in with me and you've been enjoying these workouts, hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate it. Let's get training some Kali. For today's workout, we've got a series of nine different drills that we're gonna be incorporating in this workout. We're gonna first to get the legs pumped with some jump squats. We're gonna get the core activated with some broken ones on the double. Then we're gonna move into our 45 degrees left and right lunges. Start working some basic double stick, double sword fighting skills on the fluid strikes. Working in our 90 degree ranging angle lunges. We're gonna work in some power double thrusts. Working in our 135 degree ranging footwork with ducking. Then we're gonna generate that core once again with our alternated thrusts. And then we're gonna get a full body activation with one tension squat. So for this workout, we're gonna be working each one of these drills for 45 seconds on and a 15 second rest. Let's get to the training. So make sure that you are completely warmed up. Go through some wrist rotations, go through all that. If you need any help with some warm-ups, I got a video linked right below that will bring you over to my warm-ups video. And then come right back here and let's get to the training. All right, let's kick it off with some jump squats. <sighs> Breathe, get ready. All right, let's do it, let's rock and roll. Getting those legs pumped, getting everything moving. Getting everything grooving. If you can't do jump squats anymore, go into regular squats. Nothing wrong with that. Just keep moving. Just finish the 45 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Regulate your breathing. seconds that's a good start it's a good pump all right we got our broken ones the core has to be activated make sure that your core is tight deliver it pull it out look no cheating touch your back Elbows, come back, come back. Don't let your strikes horizontal, don't let them go flat. Keep them diagonal. Almost there. Yeah. We're gonna move into our 45 degrees lunges. If you need a market with the sticks on the ground, go ahead and do that. All right. Explode back, explode back. Regulating your breathing. Make sure that you're keeping your spine straight. Even for those who are advanced who want to work your wave ins, just make sure there's no breaking in the spine. Keep it straight. Make sure your knee stays in line with your toes and regulate your breathing. All right. We're going to go into strikes here. So grab those swords, grab those sticks. Alright, chamber position. 
four, one. Get those slashes, get those cuts. Keep that core engaged. Rotate those hips and shoulders. Good mechanics. Focus on your form. Good coordination with the strikes. Good timing between the strikes. If you have to slow down a little bit, slow down. Don't speed up and then sacrifice your coordination. Don't sacrifice the technique. Our 90 degree lunges. I want you to take your elbow, keep your hand by your temple, and go down and touch your knee. Right here. Keep your hands up, elbow to knee. If you can't get that low, that's okay. Just go as low as you can. back up. You need your core for that. Your core should be engaged through this entire collie training workout. Breathe. Regulate your breathing. All right. Moving into our double thrusts. Breathe. We're gonna start off with that left 45. Double thrust to the left. So you cut out, thrust, cut out and thrust. Alternated thrust. Getting that core engaged. Let's do it. Hips and shoulders. Hips and shoulders. One last squat, tension squat. We're gonna try our best. Take 45 seconds to complete one squat. All right. Why don't you 
get to the bottom, 90 degrees, thighs are parallel. 90 degrees to the ground, hold. Hold it, hold it, don't let yourself sink below 90 degrees, you gotta hold it. We're gonna start coming slowly back up in about three seconds. Slow, slow. Oh, this is where you're gonna start to feel those quads get on fire here. Oh yeah, come on, five more seconds. Breathe. Oh yeah, baby. That is some Kali leg and core training. Look guys, this is how you train. You know, I've been saying it for a while now. You gotta train hard. Sometimes you just, you gotta push it. Learn the drills, perfect that technical precision, get the coordination, and then you gotta, you gotta put a demand on your training. You gotta really start pushing the training, get a workout in, get sweating, it needs to be hard. It can't be super easy all the time. All those static drills and everything are just there to get the coordination. But if you want great skill in Kali or anything that you're doing, you gotta start demanding that level of great skill, that level of greatness. That's round one. Make sure to complete at least two more rounds. You wanna get somewhere between three to five rounds. That way this will complete the workout. That's what I'm gonna do right now before I hit my calisthenics training. So you got this and just go at your pace. The important thing is if you have to slow down to maintain that consistency of technique, coordination, form. The whole point is don't stop within those 40 seconds. Complete those 45 seconds. Take your rest at those 15 seconds. And the most important thing while you're doing this whole workout is make sure that you are breathing the entire time. Make sure that you are regulating your breathing. Don't start breathing too fast and too heavy because now you're gonna start really using a lot of fuel and that's what's gonna get you to gas out a lot faster. Embrace the burn in the legs. Embrace the intensity that is developed in the core. That is the purpose of this training. That intensity, that fire, that is what's gonna move you from being good, which everybody wants to be good, I don't even know what that means because good just becomes good enough. But if you want greatness, you gotta embrace that fire and you gotta embrace that strain. It's not only a physical game. When you're doing training like this and you're putting this kind of demand, it's a mental game as well. And sometimes it starts to hit as an emotional game. We gotta have the courage to keep going through. We need that mentality to not allow distractions to come in and break our focus from accomplishing the training. And at the same time, we are demanding an increase in our physical skill set. That is how you start to increase your Kali skills and that is how you start to become even more confident with your Kali. All right, for more training, head on over to KaliCenter.com and or click the join button right below this video. Check out our members area that we have here on the channel. You can become a sponsor of the channel and get more workouts and more exclusive training videos with more extensive lessons and drills and all that really cool stuff. So click the join button below, check out the links in the description below, and go complete those two rounds. I'm gonna do the same, and I'll catch you back here next time for our next training session together.